The dust has just settled from another birthday, leaving you with the sobering realization that those love handles aren't going away without revamping your exercise regimen. After a long day of sitting in front of a laptop, you decide to embark on some evening high-intensity interval training sessions. You plan on shaping up while wearing yourself down for some great sleep, but that's not how things unfold. Truth be told, you have difficulty falling asleep, and once you're asleep, it's fragmented and unrefreshing. Keep watching to find out if the type of exercising you're doing is interfering with your sleep. What's the value of sleep? Sleep is one of the three pillars of health, with the other pillars belonging to diet and exercise. Without quality sleep, health markers such as cardiovascular health, blood pressure, mood stability, and cognitive components will start to decline. There's a direct correlation between high-efficiency sleep, mental focus, and motivation. However, sleep doesn't often get the same respect as the other wellness pillars. Of course, you get a good night's rest with exercise. But do you? Does all exercise lead to better sleep? Exercise is essential for wellness, but when it comes to sleep, you need to focus on your timing. Not all exercise has the same effect on the body when it comes to sleep. A recent review of multiple studies on this topic has revealed key differences on the impact of types of exercise on sleep. Keep watching, because we're going to touch on the best and worst exercises for sleep. What are the best and worst exercises for sleep? Studies show that vigorous exercise can lead to issues with sleep, such as taking longer to fall asleep, fragmented sleep, or even waking up too early. High-intensity exercises, such as training for a marathon or high-intensity interval training, HIT, where a slower pace follows short bursts of intense exercise before accelerating again, can also lead to inefficient sleep. When we exercise, we produce cortisol, a stress hormone. When workouts are high-intensity, your body is on high alert, which will lead to problems getting shut-eye. However, when exercise is done at a moderate pace, like weight training, walking, or swimming, sleep quality will improve. Studies show that those who partake in moderate exercise close to bedtime fall asleep faster than those who don't exercise. What's the takeaway? Leave the HIT training for earlier on in the day and opt for lower intensity workouts in the evening. This strategy will help you avoid the production of excessive cortisol, known as the cortisol creep, before bed. If you adjust your workouts for optimal sleep and you still can't wake up feeling rejuvenated, talk to your doctor. You may have an undiagnosed sleep disorder. Help is available.